And Daddy has said, God, have mercy. That's how you to say it's my sister. I'm in Nigeria. <laughs> you <want to> say? <laughs> Do you know the same thing happened to me again today? But today it was different. I went to the bank, right? As I got into the bank, this woman went in front of me. But she went to the teller, the, the form to, but I didn't need the teller. I just used my, so I just crossed over and I was, and the, the, the teller, the, the woman said, next. So I jumped in front. I was, and I heard the woman saying, oh, but you should have come behind me. You should, and I didn't say anything. And I felt it. I said, God have mercy on me. What's wrong with me? So I didn't, I didn't answer her. So. Uh, and I finished. When I finished, as I was going out, the Holy Spirit said, go, go back and apologize. I turned around. I went to her. I said, Mama, I'm so sorry. Mama, I'm so, I'm so sorry. And she looked at me like, ah, oh, it's okay. It's okay. I said, God, do me, help me. Don't let me. <laughs> so and I, I'm like, and you call yourself a, a Christian. You call yourself a woman of God. You shouldn't. That is what I did. God will have mercy on me. <laughs> All of us, yeah, we're not perfect. We are, yeah, we are being told here that we should be bright, uh -huh. but definitely it takes time. Absolutely. And also it's progressive. Mm. May the Lord help us in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. So like I said, that our, our, we are best so sanctified and meet for God. Mm. That was what that verse says. Yes. But God, he will, he can give you assignments. But if you're not doing it well, or if you're not, if you're not sanctified enough, can you imagine mm. you, you know, a lot of things happen even in church, you know? Uh, say Somebody will say, it might be with the pastor of the church. One pastor of the church once said, well, ah, see, I'm going to the hospital and pray, call the kid and pray. And he was saying it in mm. time, mm. you know? Mm. I, I see it is acceptable. It is not honorable. Mm. There are some things that, you know, we're not perfect, but there are some things that we should not be found doing. Amen. Amen. Shouting and screaming. Uh -huh. you know, can you imagine in Nigeria hmm. how hmm. <laughs> my friend is a pastor said, let me give you an example. He said, something happened and the husband, her husband got out of the car and was ready to fight. Ew. I think all this traffic fight in Nigeria now. And she was so embarrassed that no one would just take church. No matter two church people will be passing. <laughs> Which they actually did. Uh -huh. But you know, she was saying, Sister, please don't pray for this man. I'm really tired of the way he just keeps swinging his hands. Oh my God. And he's a strong man of God. You see? So we should do things, always ask ourselves, what will Jesus do? Mm. It's not yeah. easy. People will step on our toes. Mm. People will do stuff to us. But we should do, we should be honorable. Amen. We should not go and buy stuff in church. And it is five dollars, and we say it is ten. You know they do it in church. Mm. Some people actually even did their hands into the offering in church. Oh you know God. because they are the ushers. There was this church that I attended that they realized that ah, people will be in church. The offering is always small, and they now assign three people to be counting the offering. Somehow the offering was still like that. Mm. What is going on? So the wife of the pastor every week she started putting a hundred dollars. That's what she said. That's what she she has told her for hundred dollars a put hundred dollar note. But when they bring the money, the hundred dollar is not there. Wow! Somebody has taken the hundred dollars. And this her man of caliber, mm, you know, counted the money. They finally caught the person that did this out of the thing, and mm. it was very embarrassing. They are rich. They have everything, but he was taking the money. Mm. That is not a, a, a honorable thing to do. God have mercy on us. But what is not, what is, you know, it has put him in that level. Although they did not announce it in church, they just called a few of us and they told us. But it has put him on that level. Mm. Forever. So we are to tell our children to. You know that the Bible says that when we're reading, it says something about youthful lust. Yeah, yeah. Yes. yes. Don't mm -hmm. don't give I don't excuse it away as teenage something. Mm. A lot of people have been teenagers before they become old. Or everybody, not a lot. So God has given us that ability to live a honorable life, even from teenage life. Mm. There is nothing like I did not know. He gave us the ability to know what is good from what is bad. You know, 
recently, you know, I told you I had visitors that they were talking about their secondary school boarding house and things that were happening. Mm. And I'm just imagining that meeting these people again that did all these atrocities, how would they feel? Wow. I mean, those girls that did, they were wayward in secondary school or the boys that stole, you know, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Everything always follows us. Mm. We have to believe and tell our children from the beginning, you have to learn to be honorable. Uh, as for you today, I'm enjoying my life. You can mm. still enjoy your life honorably. Wow. Yes. Be that gentleman. Be that lady. Don't be... Because even people that are unbelievers are living honorably. So why can't a Christian do the same? Mm. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So we have talked about how a virgin can be sanctified and what are the benefits of sanctification and how a vessel can be contaminated. Mm. That's what we should talk about now. Sister Anu, can you and, tell uh, us how... Before Sister Anu comes, uh, or before Sister Anu makes any comment, can we have a comment from our people? I think I have uh, Dr. Solange. Dr. B, you are with us. Uh, give us your experience, please. Be part of this. Let it be more interactive. You can share your ideas with us. We're talking about vessel unto honor. May we be vessels of gold, vessels of diamond in the hands of our Father in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, Brother Laito, uh, so please, uh, Jeanette, you can share, share, share with us. You type in your, your contribution so we can, we, can, we can benefit from your ideas too. All right, ma. Sister, how can a vessel be contaminated? That's our last question and then we pray or listen to what they have shared. And the okay. question is, how can a vessel be contaminated, right? Yes, ma'am. How can a vessel be contaminated? May we not be contaminated in the name of Jesus. I'm repeating Amen. the question because of our online family. Okay? So you can share your ideas with us. Over to Sister Anu. Okay, ma'am. Um, so... To answer the question, I said to I want to, I want to put the scripture from what you read, um, Second Timothy two verse twenty one. If a man purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel of honor, sanctified and meet for the master's use, and prepared unto every good work. So specifically, the beginning it says that if a man therefore purge himself from these, and which means that if you refuse to purge yourself. From the things that have been mentioned in previous um, scriptures, you will not be a vessel of honor. So, um, and one specific thing that I wanted to mention was, um, are you hearing me well enough? Yeah, we're hearing you well. We are saying, how can a person be contaminated? A vessel, we are talking about human beings now. Okay, yes, ma'am. So, um, I'll give more or less so a practical example, a personal example. Um, so one thing I wanted to make mention, mention of mention of was um, a way a man can get contaminated is by following the crowd, by doing what other people are doing, by refusing to stand out. So basically by conforming to laws that are not of Christ, to laws not of God. So that's so basically one example I want to give is that um, so in class or wherever I go or maybe the thing in class, well, basically in class, but I think, so any, most times wherever I go, um, it, and it's like, after I've done everything I'm supposed to do, um, I've done the things I need to do, homework, chores, everything, and I usually have to take, okay, one or two hours, I must take one amount of time to just sit down and relax, and maybe watch some TV, um, there are some things that my friends tell me to do, to watch, there are some things that I hear them say, some things that you know, even people everywhere say that, that, it's, that it's okay to watch as a teenager or, or whatever. And me, I'll just give a specific example. Okay. Yesterday or so, I think this week, it's just this week or last week, either yesterday or last week. Um, okay. So um, I was looking for something, um, one of these popular broadcasting channel, um, 
um, podiums. What's a place where you can look for movies? And I, I typed, so I was expecting, um, so I was like, okay, let me see what kind of teenage movies I, I hear for me to watch. And I typed it in. I typed change, and then I waited to see what was going to come out. And then I scrolled down. I kept looking at it. I kept looking at it. And like, as I kept looking at it, I kept getting amazed and amazed and amazed. Mm. This is why. So in everything that I saw there, almost every single one of them, like at, at the code I put this concept mm -hmm. that were most definitely not right. For teenagers. Hello? Sister Anu? Okay. We can't hear you again. That, that's internet right there. Yes, ma'am. So, okay. So, ma okay, okay. Ma, can you hear me now? Yes, we okay, can, can hear, hear you now. now. Okay, yes, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. It's the internet. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, I was talking about these movies, and so they had all, the, all of these concept all of these things that were definitely not right for each other but to be watching mm. and more or less for example if a person just saw these movies and you're like well i'm of the right age i typed my, my, my age um, range and these things well they said it's okay so i'm going to join them and i'll just watch it if you were to do so the mm. things that you will be exposed to the things you'll be exposed to these were things these are things that are capable of contaminating you as a vessel of God. And so, and in, not even in only that, if people in your class, they are in, you're in an examination, they've already made all of these plans, that, okay, we are going to, this is how we're going to cheat when the exam comes. And you're like, well, I'm, I'm the only one that I say we should not cheat. And if I say we should not cheat, they'll look at me like I'm one kind of weird, weird person. So let me just follow them. Or this or that. All of those situations, those are, those are capable of contaminating a vessel that's already been set apart for God. And so that's just one main part that I want to talk about. Okay. Amen. Amen. All right. I'm, mm. I am, let's uh, just finish this up. I want to say something. Okay. You know, we're talking about vessel of honor and vessel of dishonor. Remember that, uh, like I said, in the Sabanaku, there were different kinds of vessels. Yes. And there were also workers that were to take care of those different kinds of vessels. Mm. Every day they had to clean it in a certain way. They themselves have to be clean before they clean it, blah, blah, blah. And this is an example of who we as children of God should be. On a daily basis, we have to sanctify ourselves. Mm. We have to clean ourselves. Yes. If you want to be a vessel of gold, like Pastor Princess said, a very expensive vessel, a very a vessel that is being used for good things. You do not you won't put your gold, drink with your gold um, goblet and go and drop it in the bathroom. You won't mm. do that. Or you won't put it on the floor. Maybe you're even drinking on it outside in the garden and put it on the floor. No, you will not do that. Mm. Because by putting it on the floor, what I do, you're contaminating it. That's a physical contamination. Mm. Okay? You will treat it well. So when you see yourself as a vessel of honor, do not mix with dirt. Anything that is not honorable mm. is dirt. Anything that is not okay for your status, for why or what, for where you want to be, is dirt. If you want to be a vessel of honor, you want to be this, like you want to be a preacher, or you want to be, okay, for example, you want to be a professor, you want to be somebody, you want to be somebody high in the, excuse me, in the medical field or whatever. You will not start doing stuff or playing with, not because you're proud, but you will not overmix yourself with people that are not going anywhere. Mm. So the same thing goes with the things of the Lord. As a vessel, a special vessel that you want God to use you, you must not mix with dirt. Mm. Even when you get to other groups, thereby they think they are Christians, and you begin to see some things that they are doing that are not right, just like Stan, you say, you must say, ah, because for the bad now, what you say is ah, the fact that we are born again does not mean that it's true. Mm -hmm. And I should end. Mm -hmm. But had our body again, doesn't mean that we should not. You know, you see them. I see them here. Different fellowship groups, even in churches. Mm. Just retract. You cannot judge in them. You cannot tell them you cannot change them. Retract, pray for them, and follow the path of destiny that God has already put you on. May we not miss it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 
Um, the, the scripture that was given to us initially, the first, um, first Timothy scripture, talked mainly about sexual perversion. And that's what Stanley is saying. Most of these things I'm sure that she's talking about has to do with sexual, sexual things. Mm. Those are the things that they use in attracting the Jews. Sex, drugs, marijuana, you know, mm. Mm. cheating and all that. Even mm. adults. Leave them. The fact that it's legal does not mean that it's honorable. Mm. Praise the Lord. So that's my last minute take. Pastor Princess, you want to round up? Your own last minute talk. I just want to say that, uh, you know, we were talking about the benefits of uh, uh, being a vessel of to honor. So we have a whole lot of benefits because God has, uh, you know, uh, God is faithful. Whatever he says he will do, he will do. He, he never fails. And he doesn't, uh, he, he, he is, though he's the unchangeable changer, but he can change change his mind. So for us to to benefit as a vessel unto honor, we need to be totally sanctified. We need to be totally separated from the world, from the lust of the eyes, lust of the of the flesh, and the pride of life. Okay, and when we do that, we will have the power to do greater works for Christ we will be blessed in all areas of our lives and our heaven will be guaranteed so my last take is as the, the there are many verses in a great house the question is which one do you belong to which one are you are you a vessel of honor or dishonor do we live our life you know to bring glory and honor to our lord do we walk in righteousness? Do we have faith in him? So I want to implore us tonight that, you know, we can be vessel of gold, vessel of diamond, and it is possible. God can make it possible. But we need to be sanctified. We need to know that God is God. Whoever, no matter who is angry, and we have to keep our body for him. And by so doing, our heaven is guaranteed. And Jesus. Amen. 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 Ma, do you have any questions online so we can deal with this blend? Do we, we do we have any question, Dr. Solange? Uh, Sister Taiwomi, Brother Lighton, our people, tell me, do we have any question because we are rounding up? Sister Taiwo, Sister Taiwo on the Instagram, Sister Taiwo on the, on Facebook. Please ask okay. questions. Okay. No, um, we're waiting for the questions. We're going to pray. Okay. See, nobody is perfect. Mm. Okay. We are just moving on to perfection. And we can continue to move on to perfection until Jesus comes. Yes. Or Lord. until we answer the call of God. Mm. So we're going to pray that the Lord will help us. Father, that will not be, the contamination is the yeah. basic thing. Yeah. As we are believing that we are sanctified, in the that Father Lord, let's do, do not let us Father, get contaminated. Ah, do not let us get contaminated. Help in the us, name of Lord, Jesus. that we will not walk Help us, Almighty God, God, that we are not, we, we, we are not contaminated. Do not, let, don't let us disgrace you in the Lord, name Lord, of Almighty. Jesus. Let in the name of Jesus, our God, our Lord. Ah, ah, keep us let almighty our God. Shine let our we light go shine. Keep us away. Keep us away from contamination. Keep us away from contamination. In the name of Jesus. Ah, in the name of Jesus. Keep us away. Ah, sanctification. Ah, sanctification shall make us old. Shall make us clean. In the name of Jesus. Ah, yes, Lord. Help us because we cannot help ourselves. We are living in the world full of dirt. A world full of my Father, my God. My and there's father, nothing my we, can we refuse we to be polluted in the mighty name we're of Jesus. We refuse we to, be to be polluted. Sanctify us for your good work in the name of Jesus. We will not be contaminated. We will not be, be, contaminated. Rather, we will not be impure. Our lights shall shine. 
we will not be contaminated. We will be vessels of honor, vessels of gold, vessels of diamond. In the mighty name of Jesus, we will be the light, that light that shines in darkness. And, the, and, 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 and darkness shall never comprehend us in the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. You, you, you forgot to, I know she, she she wants to say something at the oh, end of, okay. you forgot to ask her. Yeah, she said she was keeping, she she wanted to say something, but she wanted to, to say it at the end of the program tonight. I think she said it already, but let's see, Stano, is there anything you want to say? Um, no, you already um, you already mentioned it in the pray in the prayer, and I was in, I just yeah you already mentioned the prayer, man. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay, may the Lord keep us away from every form of contamination in the name of Jesus. And Amen. I pray that we will be vessels of gold, vessels of Amen. diamond in the hand of our Father. Amen. God needs Amen. you. He needs me. He needs all of us. He wants us to, to be sanctified because sancti only sanctification can make us clean. Only sanctification can make us whole and pure. And that, will, that, that, that is what we will strive to be, to do in the name of Jesus. So we thank welcome you. everyone. We want to say thank you for hanging out with us tonight. I knew this afternoon that tonight will be greater. And we thank God. We want to thank God for our mommy. We say more anointing, ma, more grace, ma. God is taking you places, ma, in the name of Jesus. We want to thank everyone, Dr. Solange, my brother, Brother Lighton, my darling sister, Sister Jeanette, uh, Sister Taiwo, you are always with us. Uh, Mommy Ekudayo, thank you, ma. God will bless us all and we will be vessels of honor in the hands of our Father. And our heaven shall be guaranteed in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. So we want to thank you. And uh, we want to say we will see you again. Uh, today is Monday. Uh, let us see you tomorrow at, at 12, 12 noon. We have Destiny Matters Hour. Our Father is coming from Nigeria to come and bless us. So please do not miss it. Same thing with... Uh, with uh, uh, Friday is our Bible study. Don't miss it again. This is great, man. I, I'm so happy tonight. I'm so happy for, you know, what we treated and how the Lord, you know, uh, taught us by himself. Amen. So join us on Friday, the same time. And uh, Saturday is Ayomo, Yoruba program, where we teach our, we talk about our culture, about our language. We want our children, our teenagers, young adults to know our culture. Our Yoruba culture is very rich. We don't want to lose our children into, into foreign culture. So please uh, um, join us and encourage our teenagers and young adults you know, to join us. And I'm sure that uh, So Amen. we want to thank God. We want to thank God for you guys. and. Uh, uh, I, I think that's about it. So, and uh, we will see you. Please inbox us if you have ideas to share with us. Inbox us if you have been, you know, if you you are you you are being blessed. T uh, share your testimonies with us. And lest I forget, if you have not given your life to Jesus, say, hey, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. The Holy Spirit will hibernate in your life, and your life will never remain the same. Give your life to Jesus in the name of God the Father. Your life, you will, you will testify to the glory of God. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shall we share the, the grace, grace? The grace of the, the Lord, Jesus, Lord Christ, Jesus Christ, the love the of God, God, and the sweet and fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and Amen. abide with us now and now forevermore. Forever. Amen. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good night, everybody. Mommy, good job, ma. Great grace. Sister Anu, God bless you. Good night.
Yes, ma'am. Good night. Sir. Good night. Good God bless you all. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Jesus. I know, Jesus, Jesus, we thank you. Jesus, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Thank you, all oh, my family. From Dallas, from Houston, from Nigeria, from, from all over the world. Thank you for joining us. I pray, I know that you are blessed in the name of God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Please share your testimonies with us. Amen. Pastor Princess, I think you are going to be Shekana International Ministry. See ya. God bless you. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.